Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for February. This time we're going to do you and the other person. So we're going to have two sides, and you choose which side is yours. Okay, I will say this is you and this is the other person, but you know, it could go vice versa. And this is for, this is for February, okay? But keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? What do we have for February for Taurus? The hangman reversed over here. Now the hangman reversed is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control. Um, this is hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. Okay. Six of cups. Now there's some... Now... Hmm. The, we know what the Six of Cups is. The Six of Cups is, is remembrance. The Six of Cups is remembrance of the past. Thinking about the past. Thinking about going home. You may have somebody here that wants to go home. But this is refusing. Okay. Hmm. Not going to change your mind, perhaps, with this hangman reversed. Um, now, not learning a lesson as well. This is... Hmm. Death reversed. Somebody may have been in a near death situation, you know, something that just about killed them. They may have been involved with somebody that really uh, hurt them. I mean, when you get the death reversed, this is like a near death experience, or there's been a separation that really, really hurt, a very hurtful separation. Um, indecision undecided about going back it feels like there's somebody from the past here this is somebody that you that you have known maybe it's somebody that you grew up with i mean the six of cups is and you notice that's like the hometown maybe from your hometown but this is refusing to start over by the looks of things maybe maybe somebody is punishing themselves or um, fighting their inner self. It's like they're missing an opportunity. We have somebody here that is missing an opportunity to start over. And there's somebody from the past over here. Somebody that has changed, or they may say they have changed. The Ten of Wands reversed. This is a conscious change. There's somebody from the past that you may have grown up with or that you have dated in the past that may have changed or they say they have changed. They're not the same person that you used to know. Ten of Cups, they may want to have a relationship now. It's like they want to they wanna have a relationship um, they've, they're, this is releasing baggage. They've dropped something. Maybe they're ready to drop it and have a relationship. Maybe they've dropped some heavy burden or they've dropped something from their past. They've, they've let go of some baggage. They've made some sort of conscious change within themselves. They've dug themselves out of a hole. So I don't know. I think that there's somebody that you have known before that wants to have a relationship with you. Now maybe be somebody you knew when you were a child, Taurus. Eight of Swords Reverse. This is un getting untrapped, being free, re an obstacle that is finally being removed. Somebody may have been in prison. You know, they're being freed. Um, or they've become free and this could be a mental prison. They weren't really trapped. Maybe, but maybe they're being set free. This is being set free, set free from a situation. Maybe there's, maybe something happens and they are broken free. You're dealing with somebody that you have known before by the looks of things. This is an obstacle finally being being removed. No longer stuck, no longer trapped, no longer confined.
somebody is wanting a relationship with you and it is somebody that you have, I feel like is somebody from your hometown or somebody that you grew up with or somebody from a past life, somebody from the past, somebody that you have known before wants to have a relationship with you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. This is somebody who is looking for stability. This person is stable. This person is a very hard worker. They have something valuable to offer. And it's like they want to give it to you. You got somebody here that has something to offer you. They want something. They want to give you something. This person um, has worked really, really hard to obtain success. And I feel like they have overcome something. They have overcome something that was holding them down, something big, okay? Now they've let go of this, and maybe it was an addiction of some sort. Now they're ready for a solid relationship, and they may be, it's like they have something to offer you that is big, big. They want something permanent, too. They do. But now we got you over here or the other. This could go vice versa. This is somebody's like, I'm afraid, you know, I'm afraid to start over. There's fear here. Queen of Cups, I'm unemotionally, I'm not available. Somebody is not emotionally available. I'm not, I don't have any love to offer you. This could be uh, bitterness, okay? The Queen could be bitter, could be... I don't love you or I don't have any, any, my heart isn't available. I'm not healed. There's definitely a lack of healing here. We have somebody here that's just not ready. I'm, I don't, you know, there's deep sadness. There's heartbreak. There's disappoint, disappointment here. This is, uh, you know, you may be feeling wishy-washy about it, you know, um, very emotional, very unavailable. So it's like, no, I'm, I'm, I want to protect myself. The devil. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like tempted. There's definitely temptation. Temptation to to let this person in. But I feel and maybe there's just some desires that need to be met. I feel like there's there's definitely fear of being manipulated. I think somebody has been manipulated in the past and now they're definitely fearful of uh giving their heart away. You know, I feel like this is sabotaging uh, the potential for a relationship because of fear. Okay. Now, this could be obsessed with protecting yourself from being under another person's control. Okay. Um, there's definitely something that is hidden here. There could be some addictions. There's definitely fears. There's fears of, of opening your heart. So, I think Taurus... Um, you may be obsessed with materialism right now. Maybe you're obsessed with your job. You're obsessed with money. Maybe you're angry, okay, when you get the devil card. Maybe you're in a un maybe you're unhealthy. Maybe you're feeling like you're unhealthy. There's there's some sort of ego perhaps in the way because this is ego and this is ego. Maybe maybe you're feeling like you uh don't want anybody. You don't need anybody. Knight of Wands, but, you know, maybe you're looking for a one-night stand. Maybe you're not looking for a commitment. Maybe you got somebody. This person could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. I feel like there's been a situation that may have died. It may have already ended, and this person... You know, maybe maybe they want a chance, and maybe they, they come after you in a... Uh, sexual manner and you don't you can't resist it you know maybe you can't resist it because this is like kind of irresistible energy right here this person just won't let up this person is after you and you give in but you don't have anything emotional to offer them that's what it looks like to me um I think that you may be fearful. You may be fearful that this person um, is only looking for a one night stand. Maybe that's your fear. I do see fear here. You know, I'm not going to give my heart away to somebody that is just looking for sex. 
So I do think that there's some sort of fear here. Fear of giving yourself away to somebody who only wants one thing. All right? So, um... Hmm. Tempted to uh, do it, though. I think we have somebody here that is tempted to uh, engage with somebody. And I think this is somebody that they have been with in the past. Or maybe there was a missed opportunity in the past and now there's a chance to come together. I think that there is, this is a sudden, a sudden, um, attraction perhaps. Or somebody suddenly enters and it's like, just do it, just do it, just do it. This person is pushing you to just do it. Come on. And I think that there will be a, a strong temptation to do it. Okay. Um, oh, but deep down, you probably want a commitment. With the, with the Hierophant here, I think your gut is will probably tell you that, uh, you know, this is just about sex. This is just about lust. And I feel like you may reject. Maybe you'll be like, no, I, I don't want this, but I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not sure if you will reject. I think that deep down, you know, you want a commitment. So you may not open your heart to this person who is to very tempting. I think that you probably will get a tempting offer from somebody. Um, it could be another Taurus, Capricorn, uh, and doesn't matter who it is, but we have, we have somebody that is, is in a hurry. They're in a hurry to, uh, it feels like they're in a hurry to put a spell on you. You know what I mean? They're in, in a hurry to, uh. get you in bed is what I really want to say. Okay. That's what I want to say. And I feel like you're going to be like, no, with that queen of cups reverse, you, you're going to be like, no, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, but you do, you do, but you don't, you don't, but you do, you know, that kind of thing. You don't want to give your heart away to anybody. You're not looking for love, right? You're not looking for love. Whoever this person is, but you are, I mean, you're not looking for, you're not willing to give your heart away. Okay, because you've been heartbroken. The Queen of Cups reverse is heartbroken. And so you're protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from giving your... This is self-protection. Subconscious, perhaps. Self-protection. Deep down, you really do want a commitment. And I think that your gut is telling you that this person is only looking for one thing. So I think that you may... Uh, I don't know. Well, the choice is definitely going to be yours. You're going to need to choose whether you want to you know, let this person inside or not. So I feel like you can look forward to that. Um, over here, this person is actually looking for something solid. They really are. But I think that you may be thinking, because the hangman is here, and that's about overthinking, overanalyzing. You may be thinking that they are, because of your own heartbroken past, okay? I think that you may think that they are just looking for one thing. But actually, I think they are looking for a relationship. I do feel like that. I feel like you, are, they're looking for something solid. I think they have something that they want to offer you. They've made some changes in their life. This person may have a bad reputation for hit and runs. You know what I mean? They may, they may have been that in a previous time, you know? Maybe that's what they used to be. Maybe that's who they used to be. But I don't think that person is the same anymore. I see like we have somebody here that is ready to settle down and they're looking for a relationship. It's like they've released some demons. They've broken free from something. And you may not be uh, seeing that. You may see the old them. Anyhow, I feel like there is somebody that you have known before. It could be in this lifetime. could be in a previous light lifetime. Definitely could be from your hometown that may want to have a relationship with you. This person is definitely a hard worker and they're willing to, um, I think this person is willing to do anything. I really do. I, that's how I feel. I feel like they are up for the competition with this five of wands. They are up for the battle. And I think that they're going to put in a lot of effort to win you over. I feel like that. I really do. I feel like, um, 
there's potential to start a relationship uh, against your better judgment. If you are in a coupled relationship, you could be dealing with somebody who uh, has somebody suddenly, because this is a very sudden entrance, the Knight of Wands, somebody suddenly enters the situation, whether it's on your side, maybe if there's somebody suddenly, this is on your side, somebody suddenly enters your life that you are deeply attracted to and you feel some sort of ba bond. Okay, this is a bond. The devil is a bond. So you feel some sort of bond with this person. Um, so that could, that could certainly happen over on this side this person is definitely wanting to reconnect with somebody from their past um they're thinking about the past they're thinking about love they're thinking about a relationship they're they've made some really big changes in their life and they may want to come home okay because maybe it's home because this is a card that i see home here if you um somebody is letting go of some sort of mental situation where they were stuck in their head they weren't thinking clearly or they were stuck in a situation that they were uh well this is confinement but this is freedom and this is freedom as well so somebody is becoming free of of their past thoughts free of stagnation free of being stuck and they're ready to uh be happy again so over here we have a solid stable relationship that is developing after somebody has made some changes with their thinking process they've over, they've analyzed the situation and they just want to be happy again you know they want that love again so i don't know if you're in a coupled relationship there could be a reconciliation maybe you've been experiencing some sort of problems Whatever this is, there is some sort of freedom here. It's freedom of responsibilities or freedom of burdens, freedom of baggage. Somebody has decided to dig themselves out of a hole uh, and now they're ready for happiness. I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. So I don't know who that is for, but I think that you are going to have somebody that is really trying to get your attention and they are going to put in a lot of effort, Taurus, to get it. And they are willing to give you or do whatever it takes to uh, make you or to get you to have faith in them because this is about faith. They're going to help. They're going to do whatever it takes to get you to... Um, break free of your fears okay break free free of your your conflict your mental conflict they may see that you're stuck in the past they may see that you're overwhelmed they may see that you know you're having a hard time opening your heart but they're going to put in effort to uh make you trust them and that is what i got for february good luck i see commitment okay there is. There's going to be a commitment here. A, a new relationship. Should you choose to let this person in. Good luck. <laughs> 